So good morning everyone and welcome to the island of Shargao here in the Philippines. Now we've heard so many times that the island of Shargao has been dubbed the new or next Bali. So it's our first proper full day here today and we're going to spend a day exploring, we're going to hire a motorbike, we're going to go to the Marsin River and a couple more hot spots here on the island. Coconut tree deck. Coconut tree deck. Um, and we'll get some food, try the Filipino food here on the island, get some drinks. And yeah, I mean, it's a really nice day today, so we're going to have fun exploring the day today, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to honestly can't wait. The it's first... nice to explore the island a bit more. Yeah. Because we haven't actually seen what Shaga has to offer just yet, so... Yeah, I mean, we'll finish the day at Cloud Nine, which is like the, the main beach front area, I believe, where everyone surfs. Mm. Um, so, yeah, so long old day today. First stop, though, is going to be a coffee because we've heard that there's a place at the main road that does, what is it? Coconut, fresh, like fresh coconut kind of mixed with coffee, um, which we like. Obviously, if you've watched the vlogs before, you know that we don't, well, I don't, yeah. <laughs> like cow's milk. So <laughs> super excited to try that one out. Yeah, that should be good. Um, I think we've got about a half hour walk up that way. Yeah, it's this way. So hello, thank you. And then we'll be there. So let's get going. So just for reference, we're staying in the General Luna area of Jaga, which is uh, down in the bottom corner. Um, and the places we want to go to are kind of like in the middle of the island today. So it's going to be a bit of a journey. Um, and we're kind of staying in like a homestay further in the residential area, whereas we are just about to go to the main strip. And the main strip is basically the hotspot for tourists. It's got all the restaurants, the hostels, the hotels, the spas. So I think it's quite literally Well, that's, uh, that explains a lot, isn't it? Tourism yeah. road, that's creative. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's really nice. We drove through there on taxi yesterday um, and we're going to explore properly today. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. Yeah. So we're just on the main road now. Um, I was going to give you a tour, but I've just seen in the corner of my eye a little bakery. So we're going to go over here and get some food so we can stock up for the day. Um, oh, are, are they croissants? Oh my God, they've got everything in it. There, there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Hello, how are you? Hi. Good Ooh, morning. Good morning. That we looks nice. We have this uh, banana cake. Oh. Maybe you like it. Yeah, please. Can we yeah. get one of those banana cakes? Right. Is this like a chocolate flavor? Yes, sir. Can we get is. two of those, please? I, mean, I know, mom. It's just cheese inside. Okay. Yeah, What's is that? Like What's on yeah. here? Uh, it's the sponge cake with cheese toppings. Cheese topping and sponge cake. Oh, wow. that and this one. It is filled with ube and mungu beans. Okay, can I have one of those, please? Okay. Two of these. All right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Big upside to fill. Have you ever tried ube? I don't think no. we've ever tried ube. No, we've ube. never tried ube. Can I have one? Ube. Uh, this in a one bag. Yeah, fine, no problem. Definitely go for that banana bread. That looks amazing. Yeah, so it's got freshly cooked banana bread over there. And it smells so good. One of these? Yes, please. Uh, do you want one or two? Do you uh, want one? Maybe just go for one. Just one, please. Yeah. And then? And then one of these, please. Okay, the... What's the name of that one? Inse Mungo. Inse Mungo, okay. And then two of these ones, please. Two of the chocolate. Thank you is very much. Is that the purple stuff is? Is that ube? Yeah, it's uh, the ube. Is it a fruit? Same with this one here. It's just flavoring. Okay. And the food coloring, yeah. Okay, I believe yeah. that's all. Thank you. That's it? Yes, yes please. please. 30, 50, 60, please. 60. Thank you, Thank you very much. Oh, that smells good. Thanks. Is that 10? Yeah. Got that one. Oh yeah, is that yeah, 10 in that? Oh yeah, is that easier? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Makes my life easier. Yeah. Right. See you. Thank you very much. All of that is 60 pesos, which is, in reference to um, English money, that's about 90 pence. That's insane. Yeah, that's so it's gonna... always the bakeries that find to be really cheap actually out here. Yeah, I mean if you were to buy these in England you'd be paying well over like four or five pounds, maybe even more. So we're well, gonna give them like a try. try I want the chocolate one first. Yeah. You can have the banana bread if you want. I'll fill it with. Mm. Thank you. So this is like a I don't think it's got chocolate in it, but I I think it's supposed to taste like chocolate. I feel like it's got like the brown bit. Mm. Mm. Right, yeah. It's like sweet bread. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go yeah. straight in with banana. Yeah, banana does sound nice. And it is warm, she was not lying. Mm. Oh, and it's good as well. Moment of truth. Mm. It's really nice. Mm. That's good, that. So 
she's happy with that. Mm. Yeah. Right, I'll put that one in there. Because I want a bit of this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it is warm. Well, Freshly cut best. banana bread. Mm. Mate, that is so nice. Mm. It's like that fresh out of the oven taste. Oh, that's good, that. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. We are now on our way to get the bike, which hopefully is somewhere down here. But as you can see, it's so built up here. You've got like everything you would see in Bali, surf shops, Asian food, restaurants, beach resorts, tattoo piercings. So like everything here that you would expect to see in Bali, which is crazy. It feels like what Bali would have been like 20 years ago. So I guess in 20 years time, this place is going to be popping. Yeah, I can imagine it actually mm. will be like fully built up. Yeah. There's already a lot of tourists. There's a lot. In years to time, it'll probably just be absolutely around the tourists yeah. like Bali is. Yeah, 100%. And of course, we can't forget to give this one a taste test. I can't remember what she called it, but it's got Uber inside, so... Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, we see that Uber stuff everywhere. Normally, I thought it was purple. Well, mm. oh, I'm not sure I feel about that. It's really nice. It's like very sweet bread. You've got sugar on the top and Uber in the middle. I actually quite like it. You got some around Sugar everywhere. Mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Do you want some? Uh, I'll try it. Go on, give it a try. Give it a little bite. Not a fan? No. Just me then. I like it. It's a bit custody. Yeah. It's oh nice. no, I don't like that. Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. Okay then, so we've secured the motorbike. Voila, nice big red geared bike here. We have got a towel on the seat because it gets so hot and it'll burn your bum otherwise. It burns your bum. Yeah, um, but it's a nice bike, so it was a very stressful morning, hence why we didn't film any of the process. <laughs> Probably the most stressful day out of everywhere. It's just the everything got wrong. We wanted basically got taken, so we had to figure out how to get another bike that looks the same. But we, we've done it. Yeah, it's our phones run out of data as well, so yeah. we had to get a new SIM card, and it just wasn't good. However, we're on our way to the Marsin River Swing Basin thing. It's okay, thank you. And now we've just turned up at the uh, coconut mountain view deck. Now this is basically on the way to the Marsin River, and my God. This looks so nice now, like, and by the way, I probably do look a right helmet with this helmet on, but I mean, yeah, yeah, we're at the coconut tree view deck and it looks incredible. So we've now got a 10 minute ride to the Master River. So yeah, come join us and we'll get to the Master River. Okay then, we've arrived, parked the bike up, it costs 20 pesos to park, which is not too bad. They give you like a little wooden, um, plank of wood as well to keep the seat cool so when you get back you don't burn your ass. Uh, we're now walking down to the actual river itself. We've got to walk through this nice little town actually. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, it's isn't so it? Lovely. No, thank you. thank you. Loads of little shops, food, water. Oh, it's only one o'clock. Yeah, we haven't had any food. That's no, we food haven't. Yet. Yeah, so we might grab some, I've got mussels and everything there. Mm. Can't say I fancy any of that to be honest, but where do we go then, huh? Oh, this looks nice, this does. Look at that. Oh wow. Not entirely sure if you've got to pay to get in. I assume you probably do, but I guess we'll find out in just a moment. Uh, but it looks really nice. I'll show you guys when we kind of get further down. Looks fun. Oh yeah, look at all that you can do. Welcome to the Tick Marsin River Bamboo Raft Mini Garden. Yeah, that's really nice. Do we just walk through then or what? Hello. So the entrance is only 30 pesos, and then our main activity is the boat, that is 600 with guide who will do the paddle to go with you. Then we have the river cruising, like along the way, it's like an Amazon jungle, and then there's a lagoon at the end by the door. And that's included in the 600 pesos? That's quite cool to share. Bamboo raft, we're gonna feel that. The bamboo raft is for picture only. So the better one is the boat, so that you have this one. Does that mean you can get married here? The nuptial. I don't know. What do you want to do? Should we just go mind. in for now and then? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We're going for now and then. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, for, like after the boarding, you can stay here as long as you Thank you. Okay then. We're in. The fee has been paid, so it's only 30 pesos to actually enter this bit of the river, which isn't bad at all, really. Um, and then here are the boats that you can hire and walking down this raft here at the end of here is like the uh, swing i'm not entirely sure what that way is but it's 
entrance this way. So let's have a look. Oh, this does actually look pretty cool. I'll give you that. Wow, let's have a look at this then. Nice little walkway down here. And then the swing at the end, oh yeah. Well. Hello. So you can have a photo on that raft as well. And that costs an extra 20 pesos, I believe. So not bad at all, really. Uh, but I mean, it looks so cool. You got people jumping in up there. Doesn't look very deep, so not entirely sure why oh, they're jumping from a height. But it looks really cool though. So nice here. <laughs> super, super nice river. It smells quite rivery as well. It smells a bit dirty, but I mean, oh, it's actually really nice. We might get a boat. Uh, it looks like you get someone to do the boat for you. It's 600 pesos, so only 300 each, which is not bad. Um, we'll see how we feel, but... Oh. Looks like it stings. So apart from that little uh, jumping platform there, there's actually nothing really to do here unless you get a boat. So we're gonna get a boat now because otherwise <laughs> we'd have to leave. Um, and we've only been here five minutes, so. Yeah, for 600. Oh, it looks so clear, doesn't it? That rafting would be cool, but I'm not entirely. There used to be a swing here then. Yeah, that um, oh, tree yeah. there used to be a swing, but it it's not there anymore. So yeah, I guess it broke. Um, but it is really cool here. Do you want to wear like this now? No, I think we're okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay, thank yeah, you. thank you. So we've hired the boat. We're going to do the boat. What's your name? I'm Hani Lin Sir. Here? Hanalee. Also here. Nice to meet Hanalee. you. Nice to meet you. So we get uh, about an hour, is it an hour ish on the boat? The boat is going there. It's yeah. like 15 minutes, sir. Okay. Yeah, and we go back, it's only 10 minutes. Nice, okay. For current, it's going there. Okay, nice. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, I can't wait. Do you want my phone? You're staying here? Yes. Yes. We've been in uh, the Philippines for about five weeks. And this is our last stop now. We leave tomorrow. Oh, are you leaving tomorrow? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, wait for a while, sir. Thank you. I like how they've all got like a hunting gear, but I don't know. Have you always lived here in Shaga? Sorry? Have you always lived here? Yes. Yeah, nice. It's a lovely place here. Yeah, it's a neat trail. Wow, this is nice, isn't it, Beth? Weather is good today. Yeah, yeah, it's been like lots of rain lately. Yeah, last day, sir. Uh huh. So it's gone from really loud roads and lots of people to nice, peaceful relaxation, hasn't it? Yeah. I've actually really enjoyed that we did this. Yeah. I didn't actually know that boat hire was a thing. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice surprise actually. It's worth doing. Definitely worth doing, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So, it takes about 10 minutes to get to a place called the lagoon. Um, and in the lagoon, you can swim apparently. So, I mean, it's really hot. So, I'm definitely going to get in. Uh, and on the photos, it looks really good. So, hopefully, it's as good as the photos. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, it looks so nice. Look at that. How long is the wait to swim? Uh, it's like a five minutes. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, oh, wow, look at that. that so, okay. Okay. small lagoon is just down there and it's fucking small, but it looks really nice and really blue. Apparently it's water from the mountains, so it's gonna be nice and cold. Um, and you basically have to wait up here first and then they'll call you, they'll give you a number and call you. Um, so, oh, could be good. You need to get out the boat first, so, which might be a bit of a mission. And I will give you the number, I will call you if you're turn. This number is number six. This group is number one. They have a five group until you, ma'am. Yeah. And Fine. I will call you if your turn, ma'am. This is the waiting area. Perfect. They have a four group until you. Okay. Amazing. okay. Thank you. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's go and wait. Can I have what? Do you want one or not, Beth? Just choose what you want. Yeah. 
I'll go burger with cheese then. Yes, we do. Okay, can we get one just normal beef burger? Yes, yeah. beef burger, one. W one normal, and then one beef burger with cheese. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you. And then a uh, shake. Uh, no, it's okay, just uh, a burger, yeah, okay. thank you. Uh, have a seat wait for a few minutes. Yeah. Because he cooked the burger. Okay. Fine, perfect, thank you very much. Okay. Nice burger on its way. Didn't expect to be uh, eating a burger on the boat. Oh. Um, so it says 45 pesos for the burger and then 55 for the burger with cheese, which is really good value for money. That's like 70 pence and then 75 pence or 80 I'll pence. Still a lot of the burgers we see kind of on the main streets as well, so yeah, it should be quite nice. Should be good. He's going to cook them up now, so maybe five or so minutes. But we've got like a little while to wait anyway. Um, so yeah. Yeah, we have the mango and banana shake. I'm excited. Thank you. Nice. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I think they've actually got some sauce in there. Is that mine? Yeah. Oh. Smells good. I was about to smell the camera there, and I was about to say, smells good. Oh, that smells good. Nice little uh, creative wrapping as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much meat on there at all. It's like a. I've seen bacon slices thicker than that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so just for reference, like the patty is tiny. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's all right. It's food. And it's only 45 pesos, so I can't really complain. Mm. Tastes all right, actually. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad at all, actually. Tastes like a nut on. Mm, that's good. 45 pesos, that is not bad at all. Mm. That's quite cheap as well. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Perfecto. Right then, so our time to get in. Oh, this looks nice. Do you want to do the honours? Not really. Hmm. This is quite fun. Oh, it's a bit slippy here. I don't see that. Oh my god, look how clear that is. I hope it's picking up on camera because it is like ice clear. I ice clear? It That's. It, it, is it? I mean, it's definitely they yeah, said it's, it's like cold. water from the mountains, so it's going to be cold apparently, which I mean, I'm all for because I'm really hot. <coughs> oh my god, it is cold. It's quite chilly. This is so cool though. So apparently the water comes up and it's from the mountain, uh, so it's separate to the water over there. Obviously the water over there wasn't that clear, but this is like silly. crystal clear. So this is crazy, sick. It's it all, it's like all attached. Like there's nothing stopping that water in this water, but... Oh, there's a couple of fish down there. Don't say that. Go, go, it's actually really cold. <laughs> that is actually really cold, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, so you can actually see five minutes in the picture taken area. So they do actually climb the trees and take photos from above, but... Oh, do they? I mean, yeah, I think that's what oh, you said. I didn't realise you did that. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is so nice. Oh my god, that's nice. It's so cold. It's not very deep. Floating, mom, floating. Floating? Yeah, no, you start the take a video, mom. Mom. No. You start the mom. Okay, this way. Place the other way and go back to it and what it's saying. But I don't want it to look too stage. Yeah, it's hard to play. Closer, mom, closer. It's so hard to play. Do you know why I to I like to sing. One, two, three. <laughs> I, I, I literally sink. Oh, mum, you remove your slippers, mum. Oh, that could be why. Mm. So then we're now back on the boat after the little excursion to the secret lagoon, which is really nice. Um, I'm glad, so glad we went in there. Like this day is so unplanned. We didn't have any idea of doing any of this, so it's been a nice, spontaneous day, hasn't it? It's been so nice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. If you are in Shargao, then definitely come here. It's a nice little day out for sure. Um, I think we've got about a 10 minute boat ride now back to the entrance and then what we're going to do is we're going to head back on the bike and then head back towards General Luna, get some lunch and then head to the Cloud Nine beach after that. So yeah, it's going to be nice. And back at the bike. Now I've got a 25 minute journey back to General Luna. So yeah, hopefully in no time we'll be uh, back there getting some food. So then we've stopped at 
Green Waves Cafe for some food, which is on the tourism road. So that's the main road there, and that goes all the way to Cloud Nine that way. So yeah, little food stop. Um, what have you gone for? Mm. Um, veggie penne. Oh, that's quite good. It's pasta with, honestly, I don't even know what some of these vegetables are. Tomato, broccoli, toma yeah, tomato. Nice, cheers. <laughs> that's like the least looking Filipino dish ever. Um, but I've ordered a pepper chicken panini. So again, Italian. Uh, maybe this is like an Italian house. I'm not sure. I think it just serves a lot of Western food. I think a lot of the shops here in Shargao sell a lot of Western food. Whether or not we've not been looking for Filipino, I'm not too sure about. They're very catered towards tourists, aren't they? They are. Hopefully mine will arrive soon because I'm actually I'm not even that hungry to be honest. I was about to say I'm hungry but I'm not. Yeah I'm not too hungry. Yeah but this will fill us up for later. Bit of the day. time that we're eating right now. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Chicken pep well, peppered chicken panini. That looks bloody lovely. Let's give it one a go. Is that cold sauce? Mm. Cold Unreal, that's so good. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Okay then, so we've just now arrived to the entrance of Cloud9. So basically it's like down there to the left. Now I did forget the camera, so I'm having to now record all this on my iPhone. Hopefully it's just as good, but I guess we'll see. Might actually be easier to do on iPhone, you know? It's really quite good. Yeah. It's really zoomed in though. It's only, no, it's only one. It's normal. Wait. When you watch yours back, it's like a place of faces. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, oh, I'll show you guys around Cloud9 and the area. Uh, so we're walking in through Shaka. Now, it's uh, basically, this is a, what is it called? It's a restaurant down there, um, right on the seafront. It's really, it gets really popular, quite expensive for what it is, but it's okay. Right then, and here is the entrance. So you've got the pier there and the sea down there, and that's where Shakey's is, that side. Left taking our time. Guests entering Cloud9 needs to pay a 100 peso for environmental fee. You still don't know what these environmental fees actually do. They go into people's pockets, is what they do. Yeah. This is Cloud9 Beach, yeah. And that you've got a pier up there where you can go. No, thank you. You got a pier up there where you can go for a walk and go right to the end. Um, not entirely sure what it looks like up there, but I don't think we'll go, will we? But it looks nicer. Let's get the walk. Yeah, the surfing capital of the Philippines, Cloud9. That's nice. Yeah. It's a nice area here. Yeah? So it's actually really nice here. You've got loads of palm trees, coconuts, and all that kind of jazz, and a really nice clean beach. And kids over there playing in the sand, which is also a nice little touch, isn't it? And we're going around to the corner now. So on this corner here is where the surfing happens. So. So this is what it looks like. So close. It's basically just a nice beach where everyone kind of comes to sit and watch the surfing. Um, yeah, it's basically just like the best beach here, really, isn't it? That's yeah. Why. yeah. It's actually really, really nice. If someone's playing music, so it's good vibes. Yeah. And I can pick up an apple samuel for 70 pesos. That's not bad That's at all. insane. That's, That's one pound. Yeah. One pound for a beer is incredible. In England, that would be like at least three or four pounds. So. And it's cold. And I thought that would be a bit more expensive being on this beach, to be honest. But they're really good. Decent. Right then. We're now finished on the beach. We are back on tourist road or tourism road, about to go back to our hotel. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, and that is gonna be our only, one and only video here in Shargao. Uh, we're heading to Japan soon, so that is our next stop. Uh, but I've absolutely loved it today. It's been nice. Yeah, it? it's been amazing. Um, Sunset is so pretty. Oh my God, look at the moon. Yeah. It's quite 